Hello everybody. Uh, today I wanted to talk about uh, a slightly different format than usual and that's the reporter's notebook format. And uh, it, it's a format that's always fascinated me but I don't entirely understand the design that it's been given and perhaps people who use this um, this format could help me out in the comments below to try and understand why uh, this has been designed as it has been. As, as I said, I like, I like the format, I like the idea, but practically something about it makes me think it doesn't work as well as it should. So um, I'm looking today at this leather A6 reporter's notebook cover from Delmon Verone. Delmon Verone are a um, German company. They made their products in Germany with Italian leather. So for me, it's local. Uh, and it's not terribly expensive. This, this product was 42 euros. Um, I will put a link below in the comments so you can see uh, uh, all about it, although the page is in German. Um, I'll come back to the cover. But I wanted to look first at the uh, at the format of the reporter's notebook uh, because that's something that confuses me slightly. So um, this is the, the 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 reporter's notebook format is one that uh, with the spine at the top rather than the spine at the side. So normally the notebook the spine would be here. And with the reporter's notebook the spine is at the top so that it flips open and you flip and, and make your notes as you're going along. Um, as I said, this is this is A6, but the, the the notebook itself is slightly smaller than A6. The uh, cover is slightly larger than A6. So here's an A6 page. You can see a few millimeters smaller in every direction. If you're looking at the top, can't see that very well. Okay, but. Um, as I say, it's a, it's a portrait format and they usually have an elastic band uh, which is attached at the back, uh, which either allows you to keep the book closed. I don't see why that's necessary because it keeps itself closed or more commonly, I think, to bookmark a page. And this is where I begin to wonder about the format because the bands attached to the back and my assumption has always been that when you write in these notebooks, you write only or mainly on the bottom half of the page. Now, this is how I see people doing it in films. And maybe it's just that people in films have been doing it wrong for years. But you see that this you see this top flipped back and you see them with their pens like this and their writing like this. And that means that if you use the bookmark in this way, you lose a part of the writing surface. In a way, I understand it because this right at the bottom is difficult to write in, but the whole idea is that the whole page is difficult to write in because you're holding it up as you work. Um, so the, the only alternative to this is to have it flapping around at the back. So you can, you can, you can loosen it, have it flapping around here. But then um, you, that means that when you open it to the right page, you then have to undo the flap. The, the elastic you write, you write whatever you like to write and then you have to re-put the elastic in. It doesn't seem to be the, the speedy option that I expect from a reporter's notebook where you're expected to get this out right quickly, throw it, put it back in your in your pocket and so on. And so I think well in that case the, the obvious solution is because people don't tend to write at the top as far as I know that you have this at the front so the 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 what is now the back of the reporter's notebook is actually uh meant to be the front and you have your your bookmark in this way like this um so that when you open the page let me just put this correctly and you're writing in it you're writing on a, a full surface because the bookmark is on the top of the upper page, which people don't write on generally. Uh, I was watching a, a new BBC series and the policeman rushed into a reception and said, I'm the police and blah, blah, blah. And he had one of these notebooks and he had it in this way. So he had the, the back at the top and he opened it up so that the, uh, 
so that the elastic was up here and he was writing he was writing here um, but in these notebooks the paper is always this is always the front so the side without the elastic is the front so I, I, I assume this is because form over function um, it doesn't look good to have these two bits of elastic sticking out in the front of the product so this has become the back and this is the front even though practically to me it's not the ideal solution now okay maybe i'm making a mountain out of a molehill here but i would like to understand how this should be used to make this more practical because in its current form to me it's not ideal what i would probably do to be honest is to cut out the elastic because it just seems to be in the way rather than being useful there are, i think there are better ways of bookmarking a page than this format anyway i mean please do enlighten me in the comments because i just don't really get this and this has also uh, consequences for this cover so let's look at the cover because that's what the review is supposed to be about it's almost exactly a6 it's it's a couple of millimeters larger than a6 so notebook is a couple of millimeters smaller um a fold is is a couple of millimeters larger but hardly any at all so this is basically a6 it's um light tan leather with beige stitching uh it's 15 and a half centimeters tall 10.8 centimeters wide and when it contains a notebook it's two centimeters thick and it's really lightweight it's made of very thin leather which i'll come back to later uh, and it's only 50 grams in weight so it's not a it's not a big thing to have to carry around with you if you don't want to be hefting these great big um, folders around with you on the outside it just has my initials which is a free service from delmont verone um, you can ask to have your initials put on if you want this you know gold embossing or whatever it costs money but this is free um, inside it uh, has black leather lining uh, the Delmon Verone logo with made in Germany written on it and the layout is that there is a large single pocket next to the pen loop and a couple of slots at the top now this coming back to the design of the notebook the way this is designed with the large pocket here and the pen loop makes me obviously think the idea is that you put the back of the notebook down here okay and you use it with the, with a the notebook so it will be like this now that's all very well but you have this elastic here that means if you put it down the back here you can't use this elastic anymore for anything else so the elastic becomes pointless you can't use the elastic to hold your pages up because it's inside the slip here that being the case why put uh, this here expecting the notebook to be here when the notebook has this elastic on it uh, there is an alternative you can use the top instead and use the top slip so you top slip here and that means that you i don't think that's the intention but that's an alternative so you can still use now the elastic and you have this then this extra pocket behind here whatever it's it's up to you you can put the notebook in in several different ways it just makes me question again why this whole design is like it is Okay, so we have a, as I said, we have a pocket here, which is probably intended for the notebook. Uh, we have two pockets here. They're not credit card size, they're larger than that. So this is a, a business card. The width is about right, but uh, the depth is greater. But the, this is useful for popping things in to your um, holder here. Um, the pen loop points inwards. So whenever you're using this, if you don't want to crush it underneath the notebook you have to put it out so when you close the notebook you just need to pull the pen loop out and close it a little bit annoying 
could have been done better but there we are um it's it is the height a6 is the height of a normal pen so you can easily fit normal pens into this it is fairly tight which is something i notice in all in all german products they like thin pens so these great big fat pens just won't fit in there so if i try a 0 0.8 centimeter um, diameter pen fits in there fine if i try a one centimeter diameter pen it's a bit of a squeeze but it will fit in it's just you need a, you need a little bit more time to get it in and out if you have anything bigger such as the lamy product also by the way german so just disproves what I said. You just can't get it in there. It's, it's just too much of a struggle. So, um, so the pen loop is for narrow pens, but it, it's fine. You just have to remember to pull this back when you're using it. Um, as you can see, it lies open. It lies open perfectly. It lies flat uh, and it will fold back on itself if you fold it in the right place it will fall back on itself. So you can use this as a, as a real notebook. You can have this hanging in your hand like this and use it in a notebook in, in the way that it's intended to be. Maybe maybe it's intended to do this. I don't know. Maybe you're intended to, to twist it around like this. Maybe that's the reason. I don't know. I mean, please enlighten me, as I said. Um, so that's the Delmont Verone A6, a reporter's notebook holder. Um, I haven't used it a great deal yet, but you'll notice already that it's getting a little bit wrinkled. Uh, the surface is a little bit wrinkled, a little bit um, worn. Uh, I think it's because the uh, leather is thin, which is why it's not hugely expensive and also um, very light. Um, I don't know how much use it could take. I think it's okay, but I do notice that I, I do handle this occasionally. I just do notice that it's a little bit more worn than I would expect at this stage of its life. But that remains to be seen. I mean, leather is a very um, tough product. It will probably last longer than I will, but it's just something I noticed. But anyway, that's, uh, that's this product, Reporter's Notebook. If you can help me understand it, I would be greatly, you know, if you're a reporter, I mean, if, if maybe there's just something that actors in films just don't get and they're always doing wrong. And we've all learned from, from these films and we've all been using them wrong all these years. So I'd love to find out what, what these are designed to do exactly and how you're designed, how they are designed to be used. Anyway, let me know. I hope you found this useful and see you next time.